What is up? I'm Wanted Turtle, and today we have another PSA returns video. Uh, this is between myself and patron Ty. Ty, thanks for being a patron, and um, yeah, hope you enjoy the grades. But uh, as you can see, we have a giant Funko in the background of Munchlax. I didn't realize it was that big when I ordered it. Um, although I figured it wasn't regular size because it was pretty expensive from Target. But I um, figured it was kind of on theme for at least Ty's submission. So we're going to go a little bit out of order. Uh, starting with Ty's cards and uh, we're starting off with a Shining Fates Charizard VMAX um, Really nice card. Unfortunately only got the nine uh, Which I think it's a little it's kind of disappointing. I think this card looked pretty good Maybe this top border was a little bit thicker. Uh, that's probably what did it um, Still a beautiful card, but uh, disappointing to not pull the ten next we got a Japanese card and it is the the stamp Pokemon Japanese post stamp box um, came with two really nice promos, the Cramorant. This one only got the nine, but this is definitely the lesser of the two. Although I do appreciate, um, I don't know the picture. I feel like I can see the picture in my head, but I don't know. I have no idea what it's called. I think it's like based on the actual, like, um, Japanese painting or something of some kind of bird diving into the water. And then of course we got the Pikachu. This one did get the 10. So between the two, you got the 10 on the most, the more important of the two for sure. So congrats on that one. That's a beautiful card. I do think that a lot of these are being graded, um, but still a great piece to have in any collection. And Ty told me, oh, I'm sending in, I'm not sure if these are like collectible waifus or whatever <laughs> we sent to in. They got Rosa uh, from Dream League. I don't know, I, I don't get it. Some cards just like explode and sometimes it's Japanese, sometimes it's, actually a lot of times it's Japanese ones. Um, but okay, congrats. <laughs> okay, but you got a 10. So there you go. We got another one. This one's the Lily. Lily's full force. Um, also snagged the 10. So if this is some of those ones that are really desirable, boom, you did it. All right, here we go to the theme. We got Munchlax in here in the background. It's not Munchlax, but it is Snorlax. Chilling Rain, Secret Rare. This one only got a 9. So disappointing there uh let's see what, what was that um i feel like the centering looks pretty good to be honest uh i suppose it's not exactly perfect but it looks pretty good to me disappointing on the nine but he sent a lot of these i think at one point uh, if i can find it i'll try to put it on the screen he sent me like he had a binder for like the whole page <laughs> Snorlaxes. i think we sent all of them in so there we boom we got the 10 um Maybe, maybe you can uh, buy one of those like uh, display cases of, you know, a three by three uh, uh, for, for PSA cards and it'll be all the Snorlaxes. That's two tens, three tens, <laughs> four tens. Ty is loving this. I'm loving this. And like, this is, to me, this is like what, what collecting is about. Uh, you know, it's not just chasing whatever's the most valuable, like quote unquote best thing. Like to me, collecting is... You pick something that you just enjoy and you collect them. So if Dyes are fan of Snorlax, picks up all these Snorlaxes. I think that's so cool. Uh, you know, it's almost like the value is, it's relevant, but at the same time, it's not the focus. Uh, so congratulations. What was that? All tens except for one, I think eight out of nine. If I uh, counted correctly, congratulations. We're still going. We got one kind of outlier, but it is worth it because is it ah, it is the Moonbrion and boom, got the ten. I think he told me picked up like a random tin from Costco when they had those those uh, tins like four for a ridiculous price and had a bunch of evolving skies and <laughs> pull this. So I think those things cost like forty dollars. So imagine buying a thing of tins for forty dollars and pulling what is this still like I don't know at least a five hundred plus card. Congratulations on that. Now we got more Snorlaxes. So kind of like through the ages. This one's from 2003 Sky Ridge. Unfortunately, only got the six. Um, I mean, I, I, I've in later in this submission, I have like a bunch of cards from like early 2000s, early mid 2000s, or before 2020. That's for sure. And um, apparently, I can't tell how good the conditions are when they're a little bit older. But I do like this art. Look at this. Like Snorlax is chilling at the sauna. That is a it's a very good uh, art that I appreciate quite a bit. And then we got just filling in some of the Snorlaxes, uh, more recent ones. We got the team up full art with Eevee. I do like that one. Eevee's just chilling on his stomach. We got the rainbow rare version. And this one did get the nine. Um, 
if rainbow rares go away, I will not miss them. They were a good idea, but I think we're, we are definitely over it. All right, this is a very nice one. Snorlax EX from Rockets. Uh, oh, Team Rocket Returns. This one only got the five. I don't know, like the pack is a little rough. I feel like five is pretty tough. I see whitening over here, but either way, very nice art. I think the idea was just to pick up all the kind of like Snorlaxes through the years and get them all graded. This one is probably a hard one to find these days. Reverse Legendary Collection, only got the five, but great card to have in the collection. And our last one is the Level X with the very good to excellent four. Again, this one I'm talking about like, you know, the, it's good to have it slabbed in a case, uh, but the, the grade is more like, you know, it's the card itself is the collection and the goal here. So congratulations, especially on all those secret rare Snorlaxes. All right, now we're moving to my cards. Again, this is only half the submission. Oh, sorry, this is a 79 card submission. Break it up in two videos. And now we're moving into some kind of like just digging through like my random tins full of cards. Like, all right, we have a bunch of 2000 teen, 2000 teen uh, cards that were, you know, the hits at the time. But apparently I can't tell when they're in good condition. <laughs> this has only got the six. Very nice card, Giratina Level X. And we're going to be kind of jumping all over the place. We got Ampharos from Dragon Frontiers. I do like this this art. Um, Ampharos is not my favorite Pokemon, but I feel like some of the cards are nice. I'm happy with the Near Mint 7. Anything like 7 or higher, I'm like, all right, totally fine with that. Ooh, pretty quite happy with this. Uh, a promo from 2001. Don't know how good, a, like how sought after this is. Um, obviously, this is the original uh, Surfing Pikachu. And very happy to get Gem Mint 10 on anything that is vintage. 2001 all right we do have a jungle flareon with a near mint seven happy with that we do have a couple um modern promos japanese promos mixed in here happy with the tea party uh 10 i think i only had like a nine at this point and we actually doubled up on the 10 this is such a lovely art really like it I think I saw like the next world was it in like somewhere in japan like yokohama or something uh whatever they come out for promos play mats uh, washes. I'll probably have to pick up a bunch of them. I'm positive they're going to be very, very cool, very cute. Uh, we got a Lugia. Ooh, Mint 9. Very happy with that. Not the coolest Lugia art, but anything. Again, uh, Pop Series 2007. Definitely don't have many cards from that era. So, very happy with that 9. Okay, what we got next? A random Sigilith from Plasma, Plasma Freeze. Thought, thought this card was pretty cool with the gold borders. Apparently, it's in not in very good condition. Okay, I can see some stuff up here, so. All right, that's understandable. All right, here we have some more Red's Pikachu. Man, when, when this card first came out, this card's easy to grade. <laughs> I think they were cost like, I don't know, a few dollars <laughs> once ooh, once upon a time. So I just picked up a bunch and still have a bunch more to grade. All right, here we have the Mythical Collection. Um, what is this? Generation? Eh, I'm not sure. Um, XY, so maybe. Uh, Jirachi, only a eight. Okay, now we have a bunch of EXs, early 2000s. Um, any, anything higher than seven or higher, I am content with. So quite happy with uh, the Zapdos. Um, I feel like Zapdos is not the easiest thing to have cool artwork for, and I do like that one quite a bit. Hitmonchan, um, our Ruby and Sapphire, New Mint 7, perfectly happy with that. I think we got a nice swirl here too. We got a Latios from Dragon. Only a five though. So disappointed on the grade, but happy to have that card in the collection. Muck EX. Oh, I feel like the art is pretty cool, but it's just too dark. It's kind of hard to make them out. Then we got a Wigglytuff, the near mint seven, nice. A Ninetales EX. Ooh, look at this. You gotta have like a zoom, a close up in the background. Um, I like this. If there's oh intense glare, okay, <laughs> it's the intense glare attack. Uh, so ooh. when they do stuff like that, I do appreciate it. Got a handful of more Blaziken EX with the near mint seven, and this art's a little three D two three D ish for me. Agron ooh four. What's wrong with this card? See, like when I looked at this card, the back I was like, um, yeah, you know it's 
probably not a 10 i see a little bit of wear but you know maybe i'll get a seven i'll be totally content to then boom four that usually means there's like a crease or something that i did not spot excellent to mint six i do like this ho-oh very cool unfortunately only pulled the six but very cool card all right, this one I am content about. Look at that, that Rick. This is a very nice Rick looking Rayquaza. It did get the near mint seven, so stoked about that. This is, oh, this is a promo card. So maybe this is not the most sought after one. Maybe this is from like a tin or something. But either way, that is a nice looking Rayquaza. And we got another Ampharos. I feel like Ampharos is kind of like an underrated Pokemon. Pretty cool. Ooh, oh my gosh, very good three. Very good, very good is, oh boy, yep. I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> very much should not have been graded but hey there's a swirl i guess any of those fans out there <laughs> um all right we got a random meowth here that kind of has that cool little emblem the uh, coin on his head from noble victories is this like a secret rare or something yeah 102 out of 101 and then randomly for the last card we have a reverse collection magneton only getting the five uh, these cards, very hard to get. I suppose, you know, for going for like a full set of low grades, like five, maybe that's achievable. I do have the Zard already, um, but not something I'm exactly working towards right now. But that's going to do it for today. Uh, yeah, Ty, thanks for being a patron. Thanks for, you know, allowing me to help you get these cards graded. And congrats on all the Snorlaxes. But, um... Yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Water Turtle. Uh, we got, so we got another video coming up for the rest of that return. Got another submission. And um, we do have some a, a break coming up for our patron, Richard Omega. So stay tuned for that in the near future. Thanks for watching. I'm Water Turtle. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.